What's up? Don't forget to check out my channel playlist for individual tutorials on logic, sculpting, animation, music, and more. And subscribe if you want to. Follow me on Dreams. I'm Young Tech's YouTube on Dreams. How do you make and change the opacity? Well, if you press L1 and square on a flick, it's right here. Just scroll this down. This leads us into how do you change the opacity of a sculpture. First, let's talk about what sculptures are made up of. If we go into a sculpture, we can see these rough things on it. This is a flick. Instead of using polygons, which would pretty much be the outlines that you're seeing there, but in a polygon shape, to create characters through loading and real-time loading, it pretty much uses something different in Dreams altogether called flicks. And this is pretty much what sculptures are made up of. So if we go right here, we can actually change the outlook of the flicks. You can actually do things like make textures for trees and stuff doing this. But as of right now, you cannot change the opacity of a sculpture. However, what you can do, I'm pretty sure it's gonna update and be one of these things. So whenever it comes out, if they ever make it, the opacity could be in here somewhere and you could probably change it here. It could also be in one of these three menus up here if they ever change it. Coat mode, stylize, or effects mode. So be on the lookout for that until it updates and see if you can change the opacity of sculptures. For right now though, what you can do is uh, whenever you're in flick mode, you could try turning on surface snap overlaying it, making the object invisible, and then pretty much you could change the opacity of this. This could actually be used to create some pretty cool art styles outside of just um, getting a way around it for right now. So if we just go here, here, overlay it, upsize the flick like I did, And then what you'd want to do is back out. I want to square on that and turn it invisible. And you can make some pretty cool things doing that also. Um, I hope this helps. I hope this helps. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a game that I'm working on because why not? Why not? This is called Fighting Game Genesis, right? So. I want to make it the Dream Smash Bros. Um, it's going to have characters like Pip, some cool characters that have been involved in the Dreams community, some things you might know of, or if you're new to Dreams, you'll probably hear about them, because they're really cool games. And I want to add those characters to this fighting game that I'm creating. I'm putting a lot into it. I put a lot into a bunch of other creations that I've created. I created sculpts, props, um, artwork, um, tutorials on dreams even, weird stuff, uh, this kind of stuff, scary, scary stuff, um, space shooter. So if you have a question about how to create, just ask me. Sculptures, I created sculptures and artwork that you can find within my dreams creation playlist right here. What are these things called? Um, forgot what they're called. It's not called a playlist, it's called something else. Collection, that's what they're called. So you can check that out. You can check out my collection if you want to. You can even search for collections and browse and create. So um, yes guys, thank you guys so much for watching.